Ah, oh, good morning everyone. So, I thought today we could go over one of my favourite places to farm elemental fire, which just happens to be Felwood. The main thing you can do with elemental fire, although you can do quite a lot with it, is make greater fire protection potions, and these are really useful for Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, just generally selling on the auction house. So, you're going to need one elemental fire, one dream foil, and one crystal veil to make one of these. Alternately, if you've got a alchemist in your guild, or just someone you know who's an alchemist, they can just make this for you. One of the cool things about Felward is these flowers, so you can complete a quest down here near the Emerald Sanctuary. It'll basically allow you to collect salves. And you can get these salves from basically nearly any mob in the place. The salves enable you to purify and collect flowers. And the flowers drop all kinds of interesting things, including a sort of well buff. So as you guys can see, I've got some well blossom berries, a really useful sort of food if you don't have a mage around. Whipper root tuba, which restores health. Now the cool thing about this is it's independent from your potions. There's also the night dragon's breath which restores mana and health, so there's some really cool plants in Felwood. Entropic Horror. This is where they spawn, and this is basically where you're going to be farming. Let's have a little look at the loot tables. So they drop lots of coal, which is kind of worthless, but here we go, Elemental Fire, which um, drops 7% of the time. Now, they also drop Heart of Fire, and I happen to know that these can be transmuted into elemental fire by an alchemist. And I think you get between one and three um, elemental fires for every heart of fire. So even though the drop rate is quite low, if you save up your heart of fire too, you can transmute them into elemental fire, which I think sell for more basically. So um, actually the drop rate really isn't too bad if you think about it like that. There's also Essence of Fire, which is useful for some stuff. Then um, this stuff down here is quite rare, so Star Ruby is quite good. Um. Other guys who are here are the Infernal Bodyguards. These are going to be really good for Solid Stone, which still, to this day, sells for quite a lot of money. There's about a 41% drop rate on the Elemental Stone. Um, Warlocks and things absolutely love the Demonic Runes. Um, again, there's about a 5% chance of getting Elemental Earth, which sell for quite a lot. I covered this in a previous video. And there's also Core of Earth, which can be used for various things. The loot table isn't really that bad. I also noticed these guys have a 0.12%, so about 1 in a 1,000 chance of dropping the Glowing Brightwood Staff, right? If you really want the Glowing Brightwood Staff, then yeah, 1 in a 1,000. If you are committed to that, then, you know, that's quite a nice staff with a nature resistance, especially with AQ20 and AQ40 coming out. Um, and also this says it's bind when equipped, so I should imagine this sells for quite a lot of money. Let's um, run around a little bit and just um, loot some of these guys. Probably should turn the interface back on. Oh look, we've got a Heart of Fire already guys. Like I said, I don't think the Heart of Fire sells for that much, but they can be transmuted. Yeah, they sell for 41 silver. Um, that's the average price on the auction house, so if you can transmute that, I don't know what the cooldown is on that, but it's um, yeah, definitely worth keeping anyway. So we've got some coal. Not ready yet. That ability isn't ready yet. I do like Felwood, you know, it's, I don't know, one of, I would say one of my top five favourite places in World of Warcraft classic, you know, it's just kind of dark and spooky and there's lots of um, secrets around, you know, it, it kind of feels like, uh, you know, dark spooky woods and I quite like that the colour palette is quite interesting, you know, we've got the yellow and the red um, grasses here and, you know, all the, all the trees are ancient, don't they, and I don't know, the textures are all kind of warped and stuff, so, I don't know, it's, it's just quite a nice place generally to farm. 
Uh, so, yeah, I, I used to farm here all the time, basically, to um, get the elemental fire. Uh, I think the problem is the ele elemental fire, the value of it went down, so I think a lot of people stopped farming. But, uh, yeah, it's still um, quite a popular place to farm, I guess. So, I was going to take down an infernal bodyguard, and when we could think about... Yeah, I know my health is low. Let's use one of those amazing whipper root tubers. So you see what I mean, guys? They're independent from the health potions, so you can use both. So these are really good if you want um, an extra boost of um, food or mana. And you can look up basically where these items are on the map. Not ready. Yeah, you probably notice, guys. Um, my macro will automatically um, move me from battle stance to berserker stance. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm sure I've gone over this before, the best um, attacks for um, a warrior generally are the Blood First and the Whirlwind, because they don't do anything to your auto attack, they're just like a sort of supplementary attack. So, okay, we're going to take down one of these big guys and see what we get. They don't generally always drop amazing stuff. Um, I got a bit close there, didn't it? Oh, so he drops a deep proc salt, which is basically worthless. Um, I should probably eat. In fact, I tell you what, I should probably put the wind blossom berries, which I just got at the start of the video, down here. Um, so yeah, if you just want to stack on some junk just to heal yourself up pretty fast, these wind blossom berries are great. Oh. Felwood is an interesting place, you know, it's definitely worth doing your requests and stuff around here. Um, even just for the entertainment value, because, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day, and good luck in AQ.